Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is OWASP broken web application. So if you see here, I Google searched OWASP broken web app. What we're going to be doing is I already downloaded the application and the VM and it is right here. So I want to go ahead and extract this. Let's go ahead and extract. Oh, I've got so many things. Extract files. Sorry, I just. All right, so we'll let that extract. Let's just go back to Google search. So if you just Google uh, OWASP broken web app, you can see where I downloaded it from was the sourceforge.net. So if you just hit download, or if you go down, you can download the OVA. But what I did, I just hit download and I downloaded the whole package as you can see here so once this is done unzipping and we're going to be doing this with virtualbox today so i have a my parrot os running right here we'll let that log in and do its thing and how we're going to do this is i want i configured the networking for host only so once this application i mean once OWASP what uh, broken web app is downloaded when we configure it we're gonna be configuring it as host only, so it only communicates with my um, Parrot OS box, because if you're on like public Wi-Fi, public internet, you don't wanna be running this application because it's vulnerable, okay? So let's go ahead and go back. Let's see if my, let's hit no on here. I wanna see what my IP address is, because I have host only now on my Parrot box. And it's a little slow because I'm running on a little older machine. So hang with me. Let's uh, give this a few minutes. Oh, why it's taking this long now? It's a little, it's a little crazy. All right. So let's just open up the Terminator real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and just do an if config. And I should have. Let's make this bigger. I should have my, perfect. So I have my ETH zero, which is my NATed address. This is the network, 192.168.99.5. And then I have this host only. So we're gonna be putting that open uh, OWASP broken web app on this network so we can have uh, connectivity to it. So let's go back here. I think this should be done. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and add a new virtual machine. So we're gonna go ahead and go to new virtual machine and we can just put OWASP, okay? And let's go ahead and copy this directory. Actually, I'm just gonna make a new directory really quick and just put VM. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it there just to Make sure my stuff is safe. All right, so we're gonna do Linux and this is gonna be Ubuntu 64-bit. Where is Ubuntu? Ubuntu 64-bit, let's hit next. And then actually, you know what we're gonna do? Let's cancel this. What we're gonna do is really quick, let's do another one, add. And expert mode and what we're going to do is I want to put this at OWASP again OWASP and let's paste that and what we're going to do is use an existing disk and let's go ahead and browse out to there and do, 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 do. let's go ahead and go to E my data let's make this bigger and we're going to go ahead and go to and we're gonna use this first file here, this VMDK. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And that should be fine, two gigs should be fine. All right, and let's do Linux here and Ubuntu 64-bit. All right, we should be good, let's create that. Before we boot this up, let's go ahead and go to settings really quick and make some 
There's a little, couple little tweaks. All right, we don't have to worry about anything here. A gigas should be fine. But here we're gonna have this host only. All right, and I used the first adapter. I didn't use number two. So we should be good there. All right, so let's go ahead and hit okay. And let's boot this bad boy up. It's pretty simple, it's very straightforward. And um, once this is booted up, we'll, sh we'll go ahead and try to navigate to it. Let's go ahead and open up our other box. And let's just wait till this box is up and running. And we should get the same IP scheme, 192.168.56. Whatever, I'm guessing 102, if I was to guess correctly. That would be my wild guess. And um, so we'll let this boot up. We'll give this a few minutes to boot. It should only take about uh, a minute or so. Unless I broke something, which is always possible. That's why they call it the broken web app. Oh, oh. No, I'm just kidding. But it only should take a few seconds. So while that's doing that, let's see, if, make sure we can, I wanna see if I can ping out to the internet on here. Okay, cool. All right, let's just get see if we can go back here. And it's still checking. It's still going through its process. I don't remember taking this long, but I can be wrong. It's been it's been a few been a few months since I messed around with this and since I've loaded one, so. And I was just getting asked, like, how can we practice some web application? And this is something that I need to start practicing as well because I am pretty weak in the web, uh, uh, website pen testing, web pen testing, and stuff like that. All right, perfect. So now it says, welcome to the OS Broken App uh, VM. So the login is root, and then the password is OS B W A. So O W A. B W A. Hit enter. So you can see at the. All right. Now if we do an if config on here, we can see the address is 192.168.56.102. So now we can try to ping that 192.168.56.102. We should be able to ping it. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and try to access it. Let's just go to a web browser and try to browse out to that machine and see if we can hit hit it. And we can also, what we can also do, let's do clear on here. And just for, let's just make this a little bigger. We can do an M map. Let's do a dash A so it's an aggressive scan because it's local 56.102. Okay, we'll let that do its thing. And let's try to go out to that site. Okay, 192.168.56.102. And here it goes. So now we have a web application, a broken web app installed on, on, our, on our network. Okay, so we have training applications. We have WebGoat. WebGoat is pretty cool. And I think I don't know the credentials. If I was to guess, I would try root and then OWASP BWA. That's a wild guess and it's good. Don't, don't save. So let's try to uh, zoom this in and we can start WebGoat and we can just mess around with some things in here, right? Like cross-site scripting. Um, we can do buffer overflows, you know, all form buffer overflow. So we can try to, you know, start up burp suite and do some interceptions and stuff like that. But, you know, this is just uh, some, you know, just a quick install of it. So as we see here, we ran that nmap. So we see SSH open. We see port 80 open, which is an Apache. It's, you know, we uh, got the, the version number because we did an aggressive scan, a dash A, capital A, excuse me. So we can see all these ports open 8080, uh, 8081. So there's a whole bunch of cool stuff on here. 
So if we go back to the root, we'll just do a few more things. And let's go back here. Let's just see the WordPress. Let's see what WordPress got for us. And then we can see broken WordPress. And, you know, maybe we can, you know, mess around with this. I don't know what we're doing here. You know, like maybe we can run a WP scan against it, you know, just to mess around with some stuff. And there's some other, there's some other cool stuff. There's actually uh, damn web, uh, damn vulnerable web app. So let's see if we can go in here and see the WA uh, login failed. Yep. I'm not sure what the default login is for that. Um, but yeah, you can see like there's a whole bunch of different cool things on here and you can just, now you can just use your, your system and you can start going to town. You know, you can start running, running attacks and you can just practice and do all your cool stuff that you would like to do and learn. That's very simple. You just download it, install it. And this is how you install it with VirtualBox. So hopefully this has been informative for you guys. And thank you for checking me out. Please like, subscribe, comment below. You know the drill. Just do your thing. And if you have any questions, hit me up and hit me up on any social media sites. InfoSecPat, pretty much on everyone. All right. Awesome. Thank you, guys.